Hello, welcome to White Threads Floss Tube number 54. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today I'm going to talk to you about Dovo Hardanger scissors. These are my favourite scissors. These are the ones that I use for my embroidery. You can see that I've got my little um, scissor fob on the bottom. And these are said to be, by many people, the best scissors to use for Hardanger and any sort of other cut work embroidery. I thought that I would explain to you why they are so wonderful and why so many people recommend them. Um, the other reason for doing this is because I've just had a shipment of a whole heap of these. They've just arrived. So um, if you've been looking for them, today's the day to find out about them and you now know where you can get them. So my little Dovo Hardanger scissors, you can see that they are very, very fine. You can also see that they've got a leather sheath that goes over them to keep the points nice and protected. Um, the ones that are on them these days are a slightly different shape. They're a bit longer. Um, they just change the shape of the sheath occasionally and that's fine. It, the, it does the important job and that is to protect the scissors when you're not using them. So what do I look for in a pair of embroidery scissors? The first thing I look for is metal handles. Over the years I've had um, embroidery scissors that have had plastic handles and while they've been great scissors, dropped them a couple of times and I've had them get a small crack in the scissors handle. And that means when you put your fingers in them to use them, anytime you move your thumb or finger in that hole, it opens up the crack and it pinches you. And that's quite unpleasant at times. Um, so that's the first thing that I look for is metal handles. The other thing that I need for my scissors is for them to be very sharp. Um, you would think that that would go without saying, but what it does mean is that you need to, to treat your scissors very carefully and nicely. You need to make sure that you don't cut paper with them or fingernails or things like that because that will dull them and blunt them and you want them to be nice and sharp. Now the next thing that you want to look for in your scissors is that they must have very fine points. Uh, when I'm doing my cutting, what I like to do is I put my uh, scissor blade in under the number of threads that I want to cut. So if I want to cut two, I go under two and then I bring my blade back to the front and then I cut. Now the reason why I do that is because then I know I'm not cutting too far. I'm only going to cut those two and I don't accidentally cut way too far, which we've all done and we know how it happens. So to be able to get them under the two threads and back up again, you've got to have a very fine blade because if it's thick, you're not going to be able to get it in and back out again, um, particularly if you're working with a very fine fabric. So you need to have very fine blades. So when I'm looking at my blades, I want them to be fine that way. And I also want them to be fine this way. Now the thing about Dovo Hardanger blades is that they've got a little bit that's taken off near the tip. It's from here inwards, sorry, from here upwards, it's cut in so it's even narrower for that last little bit of the blade. Um, the next thing that you want is for the blade angle to be very fine. So on these ones here, it's about 10 degrees. If I had a protractor with me, I would show you. I don't, so you'll just have to believe me. Um, I do have pictures of this sort of thing on my website that you can go and have a look at. Um, and then the next thing that I want is for my blade points to be very pointy. I don't want them to be blunt. I previously used to recommend a type of scissors that um, were lovely fine scissors um, and then the manufacturing changed and they came with the top end of those blades taken off. Um, you, if you're going to be poking your scissors into fabric and wanting to part the threads as you go in, a blunt blade, a blunt point is not going to do that for you. So you want these to be nice and sharp. Uh, so they are the main things that I look for. The other thing that I think is important is that the price is reasonable for the quality that you are getting. So you, if you're going to buy a good pair of scissors, generally you'll know that you need to invest a bit of money in it. Um, and for that money, you want to get a good pair of scissors. 
so that's one thing I look for. The last thing I look for is that they need to be good quality steel because I don't want my scissors to be rusting. So they are all the things that I look for when I am choosing a pair of scissors. And for me, the Dovo Hardinger scissors meet all those requirements. And that's why I recommend them. So just to show you again, I have recently received a shipment of these. So if you're interested, you know where to get them from. If you have any questions, um, you are very welcome to ask me. Thank you so much for joining me today. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.